but they also, I've um, been told, um, uh, people have been paid to clap. No. People booed when he went on, and Serena made a comment that, oh, no, don't boo, and something like that. So Yeah, but they booed when they left. Actually, they left immediately after he got the award. Mm. Can you believe Angela Levin and Nana Aqua claimed the Sussexes paid crowds to clap at the Pat Tillman Awards? Now, to jog your memory, these are the same critics who, not so long ago, were peddling the story that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were booed at the very same event. Quite a contradictory narrative, wouldn't you say? Angela Levin and Nana Aqua are guilty as charged. Now, let's break this down. There's a second video circulating on YouTube, courtesy of GB News, titled Harry and Meghan's Major Embarrassment as Crowds Paid to Clap at Pat Tillman Awards. And who are the key speakers in this video? You guessed it, notorious anti-Sussex critics Angela Levin and Nana Aqua. But they also, I've um, been told, um, uh, people have been paid to clap. No, when really? They were, what mm, because no, they didn't I... want, Harry was so upset that he could be booed out of the whole building that they got some people there who would cheer. Now, do keep in mind that these are the same individuals who earlier claimed that the Sussexes were met with boos at the ESPY Awards. Levin even went as far as to say that the Duke of Sussex was uncomfortable during his speech at the event. And now, we're supposed to believe that they paid the crowd to clap? These are two different things and can't happen at the same time. It's quite fascinating to see the lengths these critics will go to distort the reality. One minute they're booed, the next they're paying for applause. There's a clear inconsistency in their stories and it's hard to ignore. It's as if they're throwing everything at the wall and hoping something sticks. I can't stop laughing at these foolish ladies. The actual facts of the event paint a very different picture. The Duke of Sussex was met with a standing ovation during his acceptance speech, led by none other than the Duchess Meghan herself. There was no booing, no paid applause, just genuine respect and admiration for the work he has done with the Invictus Games Foundation. So, we have two contradictory lies from Levin and Aqua, both aimed at discrediting the Sussexes. It's clear that their stories don't add up. Inconsistencies in their own words. Now, let's turn to what really happened at the Pat Tillman Awards. Contrary to the unfounded lies made by Angela Levin and Nana Aqua, the Pat Tillman Awards was a moment of celebration and recognition for the Duke of Sussex, not an occasion of embarrassment nor a paid-for-applause spectacle. The facts tell a very different story, one of respect and admiration for the Duke's dedication and commitment to supporting the recovery and rehabilitation of the international service community. Prince Harry was honoured with an award for his work a decade ago, founding the Invictus Games Foundation. The Invictus Games, a multi-sport event for wounded, injured or sick armed services personnel, has had an immense impact on the lives of countless individuals, offering them a platform to showcase their resilience and strength. The Duke's tireless efforts have not gone unnoticed, and the award was a testament to that. And let's not forget the crowd's reaction to Prince Harry's acceptance speech. Far from the fictitious claims of a booing audience or a crowd paid to clap, the Duke was met with a standing ovation. Yes, that's right, a standing ovation, an unmistakable sign of genuine respect and admiration from the audience. Leading the applause was none other than the Duchess of Sussex, Duchess Meghan. Her pride and support for her husband were evident, adding to the heartfelt moment. This wasn't a scene of a crowd coerced to show support. It was a spontaneous reaction to a man who has dedicated a significant part of his life to serving others. So, let's set the record straight. The Pat Tillman Awards was a celebration of the Duke's work and recognition of his contribution to the international service community. It was a moment of genuine applause and respect, led by none other than his proud wife, the Duchess of Sussex. A standing ovation and applause led by Meghan, hardly a paid crowd. Let's not forget Levin's claim about Prince Harry's discomfort at the Pat Tillman Awards. Now, let's delve into the heart of the matter, Prince Harry's ESP Awards speech. Levin and Aqua would have you believe that he was uncomfortable. Let's analyse his words, his message. In his speech, 
Prince Harry addressed the division and polarization that seems to be pervasive in our society today. He stated, We live in an age marked by polarization and division. Conflicts rage around the globe. Anger and resentment towards those who are different seem to pervade societies everywhere, but our community challenges that. Our community proves that unity is not just possible, but formidable. We live in an age marked by polarization and division. Conflicts rage around the globe. Anger and resentment towards those who are different seem to pervade societies everywhere. Our community challenges that. Our community proves that unity is not just possible, but formidable. Does this sound like the words of an uncomfortable man? The Duke of Sussex sounds confident and committed to his beliefs. A man who is willing to take a stand, despite the backlash he may face from critics like Levin and Aqua and British media. And let's not forget about the reception of his speech at the event. Prince Harry received a standing ovation. The crowd applauded his words, his message. Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, led the applause, her face beaming with pride. So, where does this claim or lie, discomfort, come from? It is another baseless accusation, another attempt to undermine the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. It seems to be another attempt to distract from the real issues at hand, the real accomplishments of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. So, let's put this claim to rest. Prince Harry was not uncomfortable at the ESP Awards. He was not afraid to speak his mind, to stand up for what he believes in. In spite of negativity and criticism, Pat Tillman's mom launched at Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex saw it fit to honour her. The crowd applauded his words and his courage. Clearly, Prince Harry wasn't uncomfortable, but perhaps Levin and Aqua was. So why make such contradictory and false claims? Let's examine the motives. Angela Levin and Nana Aqua have a long-standing history of criticising the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Their critiques, however, often appear to be more of a personal vendetta than a fair analysis of the Sussexes' actions and initiatives. Levin, for instance, has been a vocal critic of the Sussexes for years, frequently sharing her negative opinions on various media platforms. Aqua, too, has not missed an opportunity to lambast the Sussexes, often using her platform on GB News to air her grievances. But what's the motive behind their relentless criticism? Quite simply, it seems to be a part of a wider campaign against the Sussexes. The Duke and Duchess have been the target of a relentless tabloid smear campaign ever since they made the decision to step back from their royal duties and forge their own path. It's as if the media, with Levin and Aqua at the helm, have decided that the Sussexes are fair game for any and all types of baseless accusations. This latest claim, or rather lie, that the Sussexes paid the crowd to clap for them at the Pat Tillman Awards, is nothing more than another attempt to tarnish their reputation. It's a clear contradiction to their earlier claim that the Sussexes were booed at the same event. But why the contradiction? This is because the Duke of Sussex received a standing ovation for his impactful work with the Invictus Games Foundation and simply didn't fit their narrative. It's a narrative that seeks to paint the Sussexes in a negative light, a narrative that thrives on misinformation and unfounded claims. It's a shame that the media chooses to focus on such petty and baseless accusations rather than celebrating the positive impact that the Sussexes are making through their various initiatives. As we continue to support the Sussexes in their endeavours, let's not forget to question the motives behind these false claims. Let's not forget to challenge the narrative that's being forced upon us. After all, as the Duke of Sussex himself said, our community proves that unity is not just possible, but formidable. It seems the only thing being paid for here is misinformation. We've debunked the outrageous claims from Angela Levin and Nana Aqua accusing the Duke and Duchess of Sussex of paying crowds to applaud for them at the Pat Tillman Awards ceremony. We've also debunked the audacious assertions that Prince Harry was uncomfortable during his speech at the ESPR Awards and that the Sussexes were booed at the event. But we've also seen the truth. We've seen the footage of the Pat Tillman Awards, where Prince Harry was not just applauded, but received a standing ovation for his work with the Invictus Games Foundation. We've heard the Duke's acceptance speech, 
a powerful message of unity and resilience in the face of adversity, and we've seen the Duchess lead the applause for her husband's achievements. So, why these false claims? Why this concerted effort to paint the Sussexes in a negative light? It's important to remember that Angela Levin and Nana Aqua are known critics of the Duke and Duchess. Their motives are questionable at best, and it's crucial to consider this when hearing their allegations. The Sussexes have shown time and again their commitment to service and their dedication to making a positive impact in the world. They've faced adversity, not just from critics, but from their own family. King Charles, Queen Camilla, Prince William and Kate Middleton. They've stood strong in the face of this, continuing their work and proving that unity is not just possible, but formidable. As we move forward, let's remember to question what we hear. Let's not take things at face value, but dig deeper. Let's seek the truth, always. Thanks for joining me today on Royal Telly. It's been a pleasure to guide you through these claims and the reality of what happened. Together, we can continue to support the Sussexes and stand against unfair attacks from the media, critics, and online trolls. Remember to question what you hear and always seek the truth. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel.